Hey guys, welcome back. It's more of PSA, breaking down that quest for 100 into groups of 20. Granted though, because we realized we really need to wait on our mailing list, there's, we, we've only actually sent in one set of the first set of 20. So this is the third set of 20. Um, we still have the second set of 20 here at the place we were about to send it out, and then we realized, not a good idea, the holidays are kicking off, you don't want to send any mail really if you can help it. Um, it's just, especially when you're talking in terms of every time I do this, uh, these stacks are like four grand uh, or more, really. Um, some cards at, at bat, you'll be like, no, not really. But when you add in some of the other cards, like the Charizard, Typhlosion, Lugia, stuff like that, um, then yeah, you really start to roll over and, and break uh, that $2,000, $4,000 mark. Um, so, you know, take my suggestion on it. Don't send mail right now, like if it's super valuable. Um, and uh, I don't even know if I really suggest insuring it. Uh, we've done it in the past as a family and the USPS is like, oh well, you insured it, who cares? We don't care, tough luck. Um, if you do insure it and they ask what was in it, just tell them that it was cash and that's what was in it and it's the amount you, were ins you insured it for. Tell them that. Because uh, if you say an item, they're like, well, we don't think the item's worth that much. And it doesn't matter if it is or isn't. So, um, yeah, just uh, if you insure your package for $5,000 and they lose it and they ask what was in it, just say, oh, it was $5,000 cash. There is no arguing the value of that. So they can't depreciate you nothing. You get your money. Every time, just say, buy that whatever the insurance was. If you insured it for 1000 bucks, oh, it had 1000 bucks cash in it. And they they can't argue that. Um, otherwise, it meant they went through your mail. Um, the good news is Pokemon cards generally looks like cash anyways. So without further ado, though, we're going to go ahead and do this video. Um, so, of course, this is us looking at cards a little bit closer, um, breaking them down, looking for anything, guessing their grades. Make sure you guess the grades in the comments for each video. Now, one thing that I hope doesn't cause an issue is some of the... I try and do it where there's no duplicates on each set of 20, but I'm going to mail probably three to four sets of 20 in at the same time um, due to time and waiting for the holidays to the end. So we're really hoping to try and figure it out and be fair and to hope that uh, there's a little itty bitty neck there and it looks like the centering is a little off, but nothing crazy. I'm gonna guess, um, I wanna guess nine to 10. Um, these are hard for me to grade because uh, I've seen these come back and I thought there was nothing wrong with them. Not come back to me, but I've seen ones that look like there was nothing wrong with them. And they had like sevens and eights and I was really confused. Um, so we're going to guess, we're going to guess eight to nine. I want to say nine to 10. I really do. Uh, I'm, maybe I'll do my guess in a, in a thing of eight to 10. Now, granted, remember when you're guessing your grades, you have to give it, um, one number you can't do what I'm doing I'm just doing this to try and get like a, a good estimate on like where things range uh, so we're doing another break and the other reason why I'm doing breaks is as I said I want to want to prove my point I said in one of my videos that break cards are right now a solid investment um, the price of them jumped up though um, but they're still fairly cheap compared to other cards oh you know looking at this one maybe I won't send this one in I can't tell what that is it's weird it's it it looks like there's an indent, but there isn't. And I maybe it's a factory line. It's a very weird line. You'll see what I'm, let me make the light hit it. You can see right there, it looks like it got pressed in, but when you look at the card, it's it's not pressed in. It's like, I think it's factory lines. I don't know how much they grade against that. That makes this rough. There is definitely though, um, silvering or whatever. It's just like, it's just like a, a fail to put um, like, enough ink on the end. Ooh, it's a roughie. Ooh, I don't know if he's worth sending in. I'm gonna do it anyways, just because we're already on the video and we'll just run with it. Um, sorry guys, I'm having a hard time getting him back in this sleeve. We are going to say seven to eight. That might be high. We're gonna say seven to eight. Um, but yeah, so make sure when you guess your grades, you only guess one number for each card. Be clear on which card you're guessing on. Now, I said I don't do duplicates in each set of 20, but um, 
there may be two of the same in terms of one might be English and one be one might be Japanese, and it will be the exact same like set and card. But you know, just make sure you say like Japanese or English when when there happens to be two of them. Um, so it's a nice little jump fluff, pretty clean, pretty clean. If it wasn't Japanese, I'd be super excited. It's just that the Japanese cards just don't go for as much as the English ones. The back, though, I think wasn't perfect. It looks like there's some minor wear and a few stains on the back. <sighs> no, it's like there's a dot. No, it's not a dot. That was just some whatever. Mmm, that's rough because I see some stuff. I'm going to say 9 to 10 and be hopeful. Um, I know they say 10 is pretty much an absolute perfect card, but I'm going to say 9 to 10. I'm going to be hopeful. Uh... You know, wish the best of luck for me. Some of you do. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save some people some trouble. And this isn't a trick. There is no giveaway on this video. Um, because we have so much going on. We have the holidays coming up. We still have to wait for some stuff to sell. We did some buys without waiting for some stuff to sell. That was kind of a no-known rules of how I buy things. Um, but I, it was kind of too good of a deal to give up. Um, I'm only hunting down now extremely good deals. I, I just, I have to wait for my cards to come back from the PSA to buy and sell. There's just too much things going on right now. Um, if some more stock sell, maybe I'll make an exemption to the rule for that. Um, but right now with the, how slow the PSA has been, um, it's kind of screwed up the flow of funding for this. Um, it's a really good blossom. I don't see anything wrong on the front. How is the back? Mm, some dirt. There's no whiting, but there's some stains. Oh, there is whiting. I want to say eight to nine. It's probably an eight. It's definitely a solid eight. That's for certain. Um, I'm going to say eight to nine. I, I know it can't be a ten. There's whiting. You, you can't have... Whiting on a 10. So 8 to 9. That's pretty fair. Definitely should come back in 8. This next one I'm so happy for. I'm so excited for. It's in really decent condition. First edition Dark Dragonite. Woo! That is a scratch-free background. Mirror finish. Love it. Almost a swirl on it. A little bit low. Mirror finish. Little nick here. Centering's a little heavy on the top. The back is pretty clean. The centering is off. Ooh, there is a neck, though. Mm. I am just going to guess one number for this one. I'm going to just guess nine. Um, if it came back at ten, that would be nuts. Oh, my God. I don't think it can come back at ten, though, with that one little neck up top. Uh, and then we have, I wish this was first edition, but still, it's a nice little hollow um, fossil dragonite. Uh, we'll pull them out. It's doing that way too slow, folks. It's not like there's scratches, but it's not like it's mirror. I don't know. It's like just not made right. Definitely super heavy on the top. Pretty clean bag. I mean, there's some stain, but... I'm going to guess 9 to 10 for this one. Just because he doesn't have like a nick or whiting. And you're allowed to have off-centering for a 10. Um, it just, you know, I don't understand how like they measure it exactly. Obviously nothing insane. It is pretty thick on the top, but that's the only miscentering it had. But, you know, I'm doing, you know, a two-number guess. 9 to 10. But, so as I said, the reason why there's no, halt, there's no giveaways in this video is not that we've given too many giveaways. It's just that... We have those pin giveaways, and um, we're doing more than one pin. Right now, we have a Selby pin that's on the video titled Holiday Giveaway Number 1. All you got to do is go to that video. Don't do it here. Go to that video and type in the comments, hashtag Holiday Giveaway. Uh, just watch the video to see what you got to do. That should be right. Um, and then we'll just go and pick one lucky winner off that video. And then once we pick the winner for that video, we'll do another video for a giveaway. The other reason why we're kind of slower on those and slowing things down is because we're going to have to pay for shipping versus just putting a stamp on those bad boys. And, uh, yeah, it, it becomes kind of costly. So, um, it just kind of sucks because the pins are just a little bit too big for a standard mail envelope. So it's going to have to be, um, bubble mailer, 
so that kind of adds up. So we can only do a few pins as a giveaway. Um, overall, you do pins and cards because uh, the cards we can just mail. But um, yeah, that's just the reason why, you know, not as many giveaways as we usually do right now. This is a clean, dark Raichu. Um, nice swirl right there. Glorious like mirror. That's awesome. I love it when it's mirror. That's clean as can be. Um, centering looks pretty good. I guess heavier on the bottom. How is the back? It's like the stains are almost unavoidable. It's kind of hard to point out what I'm talking about, but it's just not perfect wax on the back. Minimal whiting. Mm. I'm just gonna guess nine. I would say nine through ten, and I know I I I, I did that for whatever other card that had some whiting, but I, I'm just gonna say nine. I think nine is solid. Really sucks that this baby is not first edition and or bed and better condition. So off the bat, looks pretty clean. Um, kind of is super heavy top border though. Like you can see that it's some serious top border. Um, but you can see now as I hold it there, that's what I'm talking about. Silvering, some nick, a scratch in the hollow foil. It's pretty clean though. Um, in terms of being such an old card, the back border is super off centering wise. I guess that's not the worst. I'm just gonna say eight. Just gonna give it a one number guess. So yeah, I'm really hoping, because I'm gonna send in multiple at once, once the holidays are over. I'm really hoping that when the PSA sends them back, they send them back, they're supposed to in the same order of which I list them, and I'm gonna do it in the, you know, the sets of 20 of as, as in how they were first done. So as we go through the, the the cards, every block of 20 should be from the video. So don't worry about how you have to guess your grades. Just guess your grades on each of these, you know, sets of 20 videos. And um, we'll go from there. Um, oh, and by the way, I know I still owe, I want to say it's Fiery Night. I'm going to recheck. I owe someone a base set water energy for guessing the Blastoise PSA correctly. I will recheck it. The reason why I haven't mailed it out, just been busy getting purchases, doing things around the house. I'm sorry, life happens. We'll be sending our giveaways out. I owe you a base at Water Energy, and I owe Vintage Pokemon Hunter Brothers um, five cards for the hidden giveaway. And then we'll, um, we're gonna wait though till see who the random winner is for the pin. Um, Cause if it's one of you two, I'm just gonna mail your card with the pen, um, it'll be top loaded, so the pen won't affect it. But we're we're gonna wait till the pen giveaway, and and then we'll mail out those giveaways. So yeah, I'll be honest. Like as much as I love these textured cards, and the, the rainbow's cool, it's not really my favorite. I really like the texture idea though. Um, I don't really know exactly what to look for on that front. The back, I'm of course looking for a whiting. There's a little nick. I know, I know, 10s are supposed to be perfect cards, but I bet you that they let something slip through the crack. So I am going to guess 9 through 10. It really sucks. If it wasn't just for that nick, I would say it's like a solid 10. But we're going to, you know, do 9 through 10. Hope for the best. This, once again, I wish was in better condition. And I also wish it was first edition, but it is what it is. Um, So we have a... She's being really hard to get off the ground. We have a Shadowless Zapdos. She is not in perfect condition. Um, she's a, oh, I guess she's not off center because all the bordering is pretty much the same. Definitely just thick bordering though. Um, there is some silvering. The background's pretty decent in terms of no scratches really. Uh, but yeah, there's some silvering. There's like a corner uplift there. There's some, um, let's see if I can make it show. I can see it in person, but you can't see it on camera. But there's like scratches on the ink. And then there's some whiting on the back. This may be generous, but I'm going to guess six to eight. Uh, six probably isn't too, too generous, but <laughs> yeah, them seven and eight, that's probably generous. But we're going to guess six to eight and, you know, always hope for the best. Come on, good enough. Um, this next one, I wish these went for more. Uh, it's super clean, I feel as though I made out on this deal. Um, Japanese Lugia, 
I believe there's a swirl in this one. I feel as though the Japanese starches tend to have more swirl. I mean, there's one in the back. Everything looks great on the front of this card. Mirror finish. Awesome, awesome. The back is also pretty clean. Just some stains. No whiting. I'm, I'm just going to say 10. And I feel as though that is fair. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say 10. Japanese tarts tend to get higher grades anyways. So, uh, yeah. These are also really hard for me to guess. The other thing, too, and I know, I know, um, Vintage Builder Hunter Builders explain it to me. I cannot tell what to look for to see if something on these is first edition. Um, I wish they just still had the first edition stamp, but they don't. They do something else. So although there's some scratches here. If anyone knows if this is first edition while I'm making this video, please just let me know. Um, I'll go back and fix it on my list. Be awesome if it is. Um, so the funny thing too that I, I noticed um, when someone else did these, Bench Pro Brothers did these, um, I watch his channel a lot, obviously. Uh, when this is in Japanese, they do this in English, the this thing in the background. So I think it's pretty funny. It's pretty interesting. Um, the background, the back is pretty clean. The wax is pretty smooth. It's not, well, I guess it's whiting. Uh, 8 to 9, and once again, it's just I don't know what I'm looking for. And if anyone knows if this is first edition, please let me know. I have spent some time staring at some cards on eBay that are labeled first edition that are this card, and I cannot, like... I can't figure it out. I really can't. Um, we're going to say 8 to 9. And those are starting to go up in price, which is pretty nice, but it's Charizard. It's kind of obvious. This other one pains me for a few reasons. Um, hold on. Let me get the stuff right. This one pains me. One, because it's not in English. But two, it's like the previous owner uh, ran like a mechanical pencil across it without the lead. And so they, they got the pretty good indent scratch. And then it looks like, I don't know what they did, but there's some issues up top. Other than that, the, the background's pretty much mirror, which is nice. Um, and then a the nick there. Looks like a stain. Yeah, it's a stain. Really hard, because I, I, I really... Oof. A lot of whiting. I'm going to guess 5 to 7. And mainly because it's the... It's not even really the whiting as much as it's that gigantic gash across the front of it. Um, that's really rough. I uh, don't know why that's there. So we will guess 5 to 7. Mm, which makes it eh, borderline. Send it into the PSA. Uh, this next one I think was in good condition if I'm correct. Pretty clean Japanese Raichu, really good mirror finish. Um, bordering looks great. Minor wear on the back, nothing nuts. But the setting is off, which is actually kind of rare for a Japanese card. I'm gonna guess eight to nine, it's probably an eight, but you know, we'll guess eight to nine and go from there. So, I'll be honest, I have not looked up the value for most of these. I just am trying to send in cards that are in decent condition. And I know there was a spike, and I know there was a downfall. Um, as much as I would love to sell these right when they come back from the PSA, which is the plan, I don't think I'm going to do it if they don't bring a certain dollar point. The good news is, is they don't take up a huge amount of room, and once they're psa and unless someone breaks or cracks the case, they're not going to get in any bad condition. So... Um, I'll just hold on to until they become a worthwhile investment. Now, this really entails mostly to the Japanese cards, and it's just going to be more people really kind of want to follow those more. Um, they have a decent following. It's definitely picked up, but um, we're probably going to have to wait that out. And it all depends on what they end up being worth. This one's in pretty good condition, which makes me pretty happy. There is, of course, some nicks on the top. Centering's not awful, some sort of stain, but the ball foil is in pretty decent condition. Um, it's really funny because Base Set Blastoise can totally destroy Base Set Charizard. 
Um, there's some whitening here and some stains. Ooh, I want to guess higher, but I don't think it's a good guess. I'm going to guess 7 to 8. Um, uh, I don't know how I feel about that guess, but I'll say 7 to 8. Probably a 7. Hopefully not lower. All right, and then with this one, and you already saw what it is, I'm going to go ahead and change out the top loader because it has tape on it. Granted, it's not on the top, but PSA, I don't want to give them an excuse to be more dips than they need to be. So this is the one that everyone kind of wants. Of course, you know, first dish will be better. Pretty close to mirror finish. Really nice. I think there was a swirl. Let's see if we can make it pop. Don't see one. All right. Um, but pretty good condition. Centering's not terrible. Some scratches when you hold it a certain way. That dent is a killer. The back isn't too off. There's really not too much whiting. I'm going to guess 8 to 9. That dent, though, does kind of make the guess hard, though. Um, but we're going to guess 8 to 9. It's pretty fair. Slip that sucker in. Come on. Go in. You really want to be careful putting them in because you don't want to damage the top of your cards as you're putting them in. It kind of defeats the purpose of all of this because the simplest little bit of whiting can pretty much knock you down a grade. And the price between a 10 and a 9 and an 8 can become pretty drastic. Uh, you know, we'll just use the big boy. Take first edition Shadowless Charizard, for example. PSA 10, 280,000 to 300,000. PSA 9, 60 to 100,000 if you're lucky. PSA 8, um, 20 to 30,000. Uh, he did have a 40,000 spike, but, you know, whatever. But, yeah. Uh, this one's pretty clean. Really like it. Uh, not exactly a mirror. There is some scratches, but if I hold it right way, it looks mirror. Super nice. Um, so this is the English version. So make sure if you're guessing the grades for Luga, you, for one of them you put Japanese, and the other one you put English. Um, there's minor scratches on the hollow foil, and there's some minor whining. I'm just going to say 9. Uh, I think there's just too much, a little bit here and there, for it to be 10. So we are going to guess 9. And if it comes back to 10, you know, more the merrier. Uh, so we will guess 9. And one of everyone's favorites, of course, Basic Charizard. Now, this one does have a little bit of, well, the hollow foils in actually really decent condition. That's good. However, the border has quite a few little things here and there. Not the worst. Not quite certain what caused that. Hollow foils in decent condition. And so those front nicks reverberate on the back. The centering's not bad. Got most of its wax. I'm just gonna say eight. That might be high, but you know, it's all a guess right now. We're still waiting on that PSA. So we are gonna guess eight. Oh, I really wanted to continue to send 20 in. I was just getting this flowing, as you guys know, but as I said, I, I really don't think the risk is worth it in terms of. In terms of sending stuff in with holiday mail, it's really rough, guys. Um, I kind of have a way around it. I'm thinking about it. <sighs> I still could technically lose money. If you're interested, my plan is I'm going to do several of these sets of 20. I'm going to try and fit them in a decent box, packed well, of course, because I don't want them damaged. And then I'm... I'm in terms of, instead of me sending several sets of 20, which costs me basically $10 every time, you know, I'll send several sets at once, and I can fit them in the right box, that that box, standard shipping, will only cost 10 12 bucks, and, you know, if it would have been, like, however much worth, like, five boxes worth, you know, it saves me $40, and I'll just cough up the extra 40 and $30 plus to insure it, and that should make sure it doesn't just gets lost during the holidays but we've had that happen in the past where it got lost even when it was insured and I would technically lose out on a bunch of money because several bricks of 20s 
probably closer to 10, 12 grand. Uh, so, got a dark Charizard. It's a pretty close mirror finish. Granted, it's not really hard in my opinion because scratches don't show up too well on this one. In fact, nothing really shows up too well on this one. You can only really see all of Charizard when you hold the in the light this way. Once you start to hold it this way, it's like there's only bits of Charizard. But it's pretty clean for the most part, which is good. There is some dirt and the boring's a little off. Is that a black dot? Or is it a really bad G? It is just a really bad G. It's pretty clean on the back. I'm gonna say eight to nine. It's not a 10, but we'll say eight to nine. I know that's a two number guess and we're trying to get away from it, but you know, whatever. Well, I actually made this video fairly quickly compared to how long I usually take for these, which is pretty good. So this will probably be the basis of several more videos for a while. A couple of giveaways and mainly going through cards for the PSA. There's a lot of organizing I have to do here. Um, there's a lot of sales I have to track. eBay's new payment system is killing me. It is just killing me. I actually miss the PayPal system a lot. Um, watch out, the scammers are hot. I actually did just get scammed and it wasn't through eBay, so I didn't have PayPal protection. It was really silly how it happened. Um, I'll probably do a video on it. It'll be super short. I really don't like to admit it, but at the same time, I don't want I don't want other people to get scammed. I mean, it was just a straight scam. Um, it's really upsetting. Uh, I was on the verge of probably hunting the person down, but he got smart and blocked all the information. I really should have video shot a lot of it, um, but I figured he was too dumb to realize what to do, but he figured it out eventually. Um, it wasn't a huge amount. I got scammed straight $50 cash. Well, I mean, cash digitally, but they are out there. If something doesn't seem right, if it's not your normal way of doing things, be super hesitant, guys. You don't have to be an asshole, because they may not be a scammer, but be super hesitant and just explain that scammers are out there and you don't want to be scammed, and it's not a fun feeling. It's been getting to me all day. Um, Saturday in my local area, I would totally go get them myself. I'm not afraid to do anything like that, but they're too far away to be. It would cost me more in gas than the $50. And I know it also cost me more in stress than the $50. Sorry, I'm not trying to hold off on this last card, by the way. That wasn't on purpose. I just want to let you guys know about Scammer, especially with the holidays picking up. So nice little swirl really clean mirror finish this is to me and i don't think i ever had this card as a kid um but i did see it a few times i don't know why they chose to do this with the red and blue versus you know it being a pichu and he's not either red or blue um this is just one of the coolest hollow foils they've ever done um i like how the swirls right where the two meet um it, it i think neo genesis the Neo Genesis set, which has finally picked up in popularity, I think the Neo Genesis set, in terms of artwork, hollow foil style, background, the different Pokemon they introduced into that set, I think Neo Genesis is one of my favorite sets. I don't know if they've done it. Maybe. I hope I'm not talking out of my ass. I know that, like, you know, they've done reprints technically of base set, base set, base set 2, Evolutions, Legendary Collection. I don't know if they've done it with Neo Genesis, but I would love if they did some sort of reprint version of Neo Genesis and bumped up the stats to be correct with today's um, age of cards. I'm sorry, I'm really not trying to delay this. I was super excited. Hopefully, we get this keep it keep it under 30 minutes. Let's go. Bordering's actually a little thick on the bottom. It's kind of strange, so that kind of knocks it down. The back's in really good condition, though. I'm going to guess 9 to 10. I really think it's a 10. If it wasn't for the fact that it's a little thick bottom border, um, thick booty, uh, thick bottom, give it them thighs, thunder thighs, PSA 10 thighs. I'm going to guess 9 to 10. Um, so yeah, guys, that really kind of concludes this video. Um, if you haven't gone to it, go to the holiday giveaway number one and you know follow the instructions for the video and we'll pick a random winner. Um, we did say a week, but we 
probably we'll cut that a little short. We'll probably pick a winner Wednesday, and we'll just move on to the next giveaway video. Uh, and, uh, you know, good luck, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys the grades, and uh, see you next time.